Hello everyone, back with an IRS tax refund update. As we continue to monitor the latest developments this tax season, we now have the latest release date for the next round of refunds scheduled to go out this week to taxpayers, so we will recap on that, as well as those extended delays that over 9 million taxpayers are still experiencing, and we will also look at some of those notices taxpayers continue to receive, such as the 90-day notice and the CP05 and CP75 letters from the IRS. Leading off with the developing news of the week, which is the next round of tax refunds is scheduled to be transmitted by the IRS to banks nationwide on Wednesday, May 18th. Now, while most that are part of this latest batch will receive those refunds the day of, some taxpayers can expect to wait an additional one to two business days for it to post to their bank accounts. Now, taxpayers who have been part of the most recent refund tax batches have indicated they did not see any updates on the refund status results page so it is advised to check those tax transcripts for updates to confirm you're part of this latest refund batch. Based off the latest numbers, there are still an estimated 9 million tax returns that remain unprocessed. Over 3 million of those require an error correction, and over 6 million of those are unprocessed paper returns. In addition, there are still over 2 million unprocessed amended tax returns and over 1 million unprocessed employer returns, which are contributing to further delays. Now, a number of taxpayers who are still experiencing delays in receiving their tax refunds are continuing to report they are receiving the 60-day notice, also known as letter 2645C, as seen here. It should be noted in a number of cases, those receiving this notice have indicated the refund delays have to do with the IRS still needing to verify their wage earnings that are reported by their employers. Meanwhile, the CP05 notice continues to be one of the most common notices received by taxpayers this year. And again, the same situation is happening here where some taxpayers who are supposed to receive this notice, in fact, are not. The reason for receiving this letter is the IRS is still needing to confirm one of a variety of items, particularly reported income. Oftentimes, they have not received or processed wage information from your employer. Among the other notices taxpayers are receiving this tax season is a CP75 notice, which is an indicator a refund is placed on hold due to the IRS needing further documentation pertaining to credits being claimed, such as the Earned Income Tax Credit and our Child Tax Credit. Once again, not all taxpayers who are supposed to receive this notice are actually receiving it, which is leading to further problems, and they're made only aware of it once they're able to reach the IRS or TAS. Another issue leading to refund delays for a number of taxpayers, some of those who are not realizing it is the cause of their delay, is the need to complete ID verification. Now, the IRS is supposed to send out the 5071C letter to those taxpayers who need to verify their identity, but in a number of cases, those letters are not being received, and it is only after contacting the IRS or taxpayer advocate that they are made aware of this issue. For those who are encountering the 570 and 971 codes on their tax transcripts, as seen here, there will be two scenarios which they may fall under. If you're showing the 570 and 971 codes with the same dates listed, then that means the IRS has auto-adjusted your refund amount and it has been cleared to be issued, usually within a week from the posted date. Now, if the codes show different dates, then that indicates the IRS continues to process that tax return. Let us know in the comment section below what problem you're experiencing, and if you've not received your refund yet, when and how you filed your tax returns. We continue to read all comments that come through, but due to the high influx, we have been delayed in responding lately. In the meantime, we'll keep monitoring the situation for further developments, so make sure to click on the subscribe button below for future updates on this channel, and thanks for watching.